Hi there, my name is Candice and I'm here to teach you the figure eight belly dance movement. This is one of our juiciest moves and it's made up of two circles connected together. Let's get started. Alright, so we're going to talk about the posture for this movement. We want to stand with our feet within hip distance apart, so you can, of course, if you want the movement to be bigger, slightly go outside of hip distance. Um, we can also be slightly inside hip distance, but to start off with, it's most comfortable usually to put your feet right underneath your hip bones. We also want our knees to be gently bent, and we also want our pelvis to be in a neutral position for you. So make sure that when you are doing this, you are not pushing your pelvis out to the back or over tucking to the front, just find your neutral position. Upper body is nice and tall, we want to stack the shoulders over the hips, over the knees and over the feet, and the arms are out to the sides, or if you feel like you want to keep them down, you can hold them framing your hips too. So the figure eight is made up of a twist, and a slide. We're going to start by twisting the right hip forward, remembering to keep those knees gently bent. And as you've got your right hip forward, you're now going to direct that hip towards the diagonal it's already on. So slide it on that diagonal. Now you're going to twist the left hip forward, and your weight should be somewhere in your heel at this point, and you're going to slide along that diagonal to push the left hip forward. So now your weight will be in the front left of your foot and twist the left hip back, so the right hip comes forward, slide along that diagonal, twist the right hip back, slide along the left diagonal, twist the left hip back, slide, twist, slide, twist, and slide. And then what we do is we start to smooth out the movement so that we don't have the single individual movements. All we see is a nice juicy figure eight, moving all the way through those points and turning them into curves. So this is the outward figure eight. We of course move in two directions with this movement. So we'll reset and start from the beginning for the reverse. So again, in neutral position, knee softly bent. We're going to twist the right hip forward again this time so that you can tell the difference. Now instead of shooting your energy forward on the diagonal, you're going to bring it backwards on the diagonal. So your hips are moving towards the left heel. And now bring your left hip forward and slide the energy towards the back right diagonal. Twist the right hip forward, slide back. Twist the left hip forward, slide back. Twist the right hip forward, slide back. Twist the left hip forward, slide back. And continue on that way, but motion, uh, smoothing out the motion, getting the hips nice and gentle. And you can start here exploring moving your feet if it feels more comfortable to so open them slightly or bring them closer together. It's a nice moment to test out what feels good for your body. So in this movement, there's a lot of muscles that we're working with. We're using our obliques and our core muscles, our hip flexors, because as we move our hips around, we have to work through this area. So it's a nice workout for your tummy. But there's also a lot of work going on in your hips, your adductors, and your quads. So make sure that you're feeling through those muscles. And if you don't know which ones I'm talking about, you will, over time, the more you practice, the more your muscles will get the energy flowing through them. So things to avoid with this type of movement is um, locking your knees. So when your knees are locked, we are at risk of injury. So make sure your knees are, are generally a little bit softer and that your pelvis is in a nice neutral position, as we spoke about. And just keep that softness so that you don't push through locked knees and cause torsion on your knees as you go. Also relax your feet, make sure you're not gripping into the floor with your toes, so you want to have relaxed feet. And even if you want to, you can move your feet around on the floor if that feels more comfortable to you as well. Mm -hmm. Alright, one more um, thing that we can uh, watch out for is when we move, we, we obviously go in two directions. But sometimes that's hard to tell, so really try to focus your practice on going both ways, outwards and inwards, and tell the difference. Another tip is to make sure that your circle is even on both sides. Sometimes we have a large side and a little side and a large side and a little side. So make sure that as you move your weight over your feet, both sides are equally sized and you have a nice round circle all the way through.
much for joining me in learning all about the juicy figure eights. Thank you.